I love a good mystery, and Netflix has a brand new one that just dropped this weekend. We're going to talk about it. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to this channel. Are you all watching The Innocent on Netflix? We're talking the brand new streaming movie or TV show, and this is a show that nobody's talking about right now, and I think more people need to. So we're going to get into it. No spoilers in this review. If you guys want me to talk spoilers, maybe we'll do that in a separate video. So this is an adaptation of the Harlan Coben novel, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. One night, Matt innocently tries to break up a fight that ends in a homicide. Now, nine years later, he's trying to start from scratch with Olivia, his wife. A shocking call from Olivia's phone while she's on a business trip unsettles Matt, and he will start a frenetic race to discover the truth. His innocence will be questioned again, this time by Lorena, a police officer investigating a suicide case. Now, if you are a fan of Harlan Coben and his novelizations, his stories, Netflix will be adapting a lot of them. But one really cool thing that they're doing is they're taking these ideas, these stories, these concepts, and they're allowing different countries to tackle them. So we've had one from Spain. Now we have one from Poland. I believe there are others as well. Uh, but this gives us a different insight, a different perspective. I think one of the really cool things about that is you get to see different styles from different countries, and that translates really well, especially with any genre like this. When it comes to The Innocent, this is a pure, dark, thrilling mystery, but the way that it's constructed, every episode starts out with some sort of highlight reel, if you will, or a montage that gives you something for a specific character that is of prominence, whether it be in that episode or another. So it's all relevant. It's just a very different style of storytelling, but I like that. And then you have our main character in Matt or Mateo, who starts out, serves four years in prison because of homicide by defending his brother. So he goes from being a character that is moderately tough and, and subtle and uh, very reserved to one that toughens up by serving time. We see him at the beginning, he's getting a haircut, and he's going about life in more of a, in his idea, a constructive way, but a way that affects others around him, and he's also someone who is not very trusting. Whether it be the love of his life, those around him, he has this stoic personality that uh, really starts to shift and change when he starts to suspect some things happening that do not feel right. When he starts to get calls from someone's phone and this huge web, this mystery begins to unravel throughout each episode and we meet new characters, but it's the storytelling for me that started out and I was fearful because I said, you know, the way that they're montaging their way through uh, us learning about every character at the beginning of every episode, it kind of feels like this exposition dump that almost could, maybe even should, come across as lazy. But it has the opposite effect. It comes across as inventive, and it gives us all of this necessary character development without having to spend one to two extra seasons to build up these characters. And you have our prominent character in Matt, his wife Olivia, what happens with her kind of sparks this entire mystery, and it is just this race against time to discover the truth. And by the time we get to inevitably where we're going, it does indeed feel earned. You also have a uh, police inspector kind of investigating the suicide case, uh, Detective Lorena, who is also an interesting character. The overall tone, the overall pace of the show, I think works really well. Now, I could understand how some could watch it and consider it maybe a bit long in the tooth, and honestly, maybe one less episode would have worked a bit better for me, but overall, in terms of where we go, and again, I don't want to spoil anything. It's hard to review this without spoiling it. Again, that's kind of why I want to do a spoiler review. And if you're just looking for a recommendation, this is a recommendation for me. And if you're looking for a discussion uh, other than major spoilers, of course, spoiler tag if you do, get down in that comment section below and talk about this show, kind of the mystery surrounding all of it, and the performances. We can't forget about the performances Everyone, especially Mateo, but everyone is really good here. I like the cast. I don't think anyone was phoning it in or overacting. Uh, and overall, when you have a dark show like this, even if it goes a tiny bit heavy in the exposition, that's the kind of show that I'm going to be locked in on. And the mystery is somewhat mesmerizing. So as for my score, I'm going to 78%. I think The Innocent uh, is a really entertaining watch on Netflix and it's one that I think a lot of people are going to get locked in on and want more 
from these Harlan Coben novels that are coming to uh, Netflix. So I'm not for sure what the next one is, but there have been a few thus far. Let me know which one is your favorite and uh, is The Innocent a show that you are watching this weekend. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know if something dropped on Netflix you want me to cover it. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already and come back because we have plenty more videos. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.